Uh-oh, here we go again. Another week, another major NPM supply chain attack. If your codebase is using NPM packages from either Zapier, ENS, Async API, PostHog, BrowserBase, or Postman, you might be in big trouble. The supply chain attack is called Shai Hulud. Shai Hulud? Shai Hulud? Shai Hulud? Shai Halud the Second Coming. It has already been found across more than 300 infected packages, and HelixGuard reports it might already have affected over 25,000 downstream repositories. And yes, it is named after the worms from Dune. Clearly, the attackers are big Dune fans for some reason. And this is not their first rodeo. They executed the first Shai Hulud attack back in September 16, 2025. And this time they're even being cheeky about it, nicknaming this one The Second Coming. So how dangerous is this Second Coming? Well, that's what we're gonna look at in today's video. So the main goal of the Shai Hulud attack is to expose developer secrets. This includes GitHub tokens, cloud keys, API keys, NPM publish tokens, anything that can help the attackers move deeper into your systems. And the scary part is that the moment you run NPM install on one of the compromised packages, the malicious code kicks in automatically, even before it finishes installing everything. The attackers have hidden everything inside a pre-install script. It uses a file name that looks like a bun setup file, but once executed, it scans your entire environment for secrets and ships them off to a GitHub repository controlled by the attacker. After the secrets are collected, the malware doesn't stop there. It immediately publishes a brand new GitHub repository under the attacker's account, literally called Shai Hulud, and uploads your stolen token straight into it. And in some cases, it even goes into the victim's GitHub account and flips private repositories to public. It's a smash and grab operation where the attacker wants to collect as much as possible as fast as possible. Another scary part is that this thing isn't just stealing secrets. It behaves like a real worm. It spreads through NPM on its own. Once it lands on a developer machine that has published permissions, it starts taking over every package that maintainer can access. First, it grabs an existing packages from the NPM registry. Then it quietly bumps the patch version in the package.json file and injects a new post install script. The attacker doesn't have to do anything manually. The worm handles the entire process for them. So that's the core of the attack. A worm that steals secrets, takes over maintainer accounts, and repackages itself into anything it can touch. So now comes the important question. What should you do to protect yourself? First, rotate your secrets. Any machine that ran npm install on the infected package should be considered compromised. Refresh your GitHub tokens, cloud keys, API keys, and npm publish tokens as soon as possible. Next, audit your dependencies. Look for packages that pulled in unexpected patch versions over the last few days. Check your package.json files for pre-install or post-install scripts you didn't add yourself. Also inspect your .github directory. The malware dropped its own workflow files to automate exfiltration. If you see unfamiliar YAML workflows, delete them and check for other changes. And finally, log down your publishing process. Enforce multi-factor authentication on NPM accounts and limit who can publish and pin dependency versions. Since the worm spreads through maintainer credentials, Tightening this surface is one of the strongest defenses. At the end of the day, this whole event is another security reminder that every NPM install is a point of trust. One small package update can ripple across thousands of projects when attackers get hold of maintainer accounts. So stay cautious, audit your environments, and rotate everything that might have been exposed. And share this video with other developers who are using NPM and who might be exposed. Let's help spread awareness. And folks, if you like to stay up to date with the latest developer insights, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. This has been Andres from BetterStack, and I will see you in the next videos.